Good afternoon. I'm home. <sighs> um, uh, possibly the worst 24 hours of my life that I can remember. Um, right, before I go any further, uh, this will probably never reach them, but you never know, somebody might know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Uh, the Aran Mountain Rescue Team. If anybody knows anybody out there, go and give them a cuddle and a big kiss for me. Um, anybody that's in the a &E department uh, down at Kilmarnock Hospital, thank you very, very much uh, for looking after my dad, uh, who decided to throw himself off a mountain yesterday and uh, had to... Thankfully, God bless, he's got one of these uh, spot check things, little works off a satellite signal, so you can just push it and uh, it's like an e -perb in a boat, if you know what that is and uh, sends out an SOS, and so they can track it and come in. They came and picked him up, took three hours to get them, uh, but he's bruised, battered, uh, but he's in one piece and alive and kicking and swearing like a trooper. So, um, uh, I was, for about three, three hours, we didn't know what had gone on. Worst three hours of my life, really was. Uh, but uh, once again, thank you to everybody that was involved getting them just safe thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you um right i'm sam my mind's up my ass uh, but i thought you know i'm going to try and get back to some kind of normality so i'm going to sit here and do this uh, i'm not long back from Oban, um because I, I drove down to kilmarnock last night and then i managed to take my dad back up to Oban and then drove back across to the East Coast today, so all oh, some kind of normality. Vape meal, vape meal, vape meal, vape meal. Well, I bought something. I bought something second hand, and uh, this is uh, now Nigel from SVB, Soul Vapor Baby. Uh, for those of you that I've shown off his mods before, and I've all I've had one of his mods sitting up here for quite some time now. Um, I, the last one out went out for charity and I was going to buy, I was going to ask him to make me one of these but then I saw this one come up for sale and it's a rat one um, so it's it's purposely weathered and you are scratched up and whatnot, and it's just oh I like it so much uh, however it's not sparkly and there are no screws holding the back on it's um Magnets and uh, it's a SX350 Jai V2 and single 18650. As always, um, inside is f flawless. I uh, can't, I have nothing to say there. He's getting the hang of soldering. I'm only kidding, mate. I'm only kidding. Um, and I'm, I'm really trying. Thank you to George. Um, is it George? No, it was George that sold that. Uh, no, I. Um, oh, God, forgotten the name. Ah, that That's just so bad of me. I'm really sorry. Um, see all. I will find this name uh, before I go any further. Uh, Alan. Alan Midgley. Thank you, buddy. Um, on top of it, now, I kept uh, a hold of the stuff that Bob Marley sent me. I kept a hold of the Origin Dripper and the Origin Genesis um, because I was just enjoying vaping away with them. And it's just a nice, I mean, this is a, it's got a small little thing. It's not discreet by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> uh, but really like it. I uh, really like it. So another Good job by Nigel. Now, a um, couple of exciting things did arrive uh, from vapegeek.co.uk. Um, lovely people that they are. Now, the first thing they sent on, uh, let's just get this out of the way. It's this. Now, it's uh, Lost Vapes uh, version of a DNA 200 triple 18650. And yes, triple eighteen six fifty like that, and point goes on like that. This is leather, 
or Leatherette, I'm not sure which, I think it's Leather. Um, it's quite fun. That's the Squape uh, Dream I've got on top of there. Um, now, I, I posted this up on my Facebook page and my, uh, where else? Instagram. There's a few comments and folks saying it's just an RX200 clone, blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, there's only so many ways that you can put three 18650 batteries into a device. And if this is the form factor that lost weight, I said, well, do you know, this is a good form factor. We're going to go for this. It's, it, it's I've had it up to an RX200 and it's, it feel it's weightier it feels heavier and uh, the materials it doesn't it's not as plasticky as the rx 200s it feels more posh shall we say but people go on about it being a clone um what am i going to say i can't be arsed doing it to be honest um what can i show you um take two mechanical tube mods two box mods hammond box mods Hold them up side by side. It's a standard configuration, single or dual 18650. The switch might be a little bit different, but they're essentially, you know, the same dimensions. And set. there's only so many ways you can do it. Um, I, I'm not trying to justify this in any shape or form. Um, I have no reason to. I have no. Oh, I'm not making any money from it. I've no interest in the company or anything. But it's up to you at the end of the day. It really is. What I will say is um, it's uh, the 510. Uh, it's kind of raised at the top here. You can see that it's, it's not a beauty ring or anything like that. I've taken the three screws off and had a look underneath. And uh, the 510 is actually, it's a proper 510, if you like, spring loaded. Um, and it's held on with a nut. Uh, so it's a proper 510. Um, and as it's a working pre-production one, I can't really say anything else about it because I don't know how many changes they'll make for the one when it's finally released. Um, the Squape must be for sale soon. Is it the 23rd that comes out for sale? Um, I, listen, I, I, I can't. Do you know... I still stand by what I said in my review. Uh, I have tried X amount, you know, different amounts of cotton in here, packing it out with cotton and all the rest of it. And I still get a little bit of, you know, when I'm pushing it down to turn and whatnot, I still get a little bit of liquid coming out, just a tiny, tiny little bit. It's not a deal breaker for me, but um, let's see. I've got, I've got to tell you how, how I'm getting on with it. Um, if other people, you know, I know Damien did his review and he said he changed the amount of cotton he did and it solved his problem with the liquid, which is awesome. Uh, maybe I'm just full on rubbish. That could possibly be the issue. Uh, so that um, will be coming at some point in the future. Uh, I've no idea of price point uh, or anything like that, but I do know that Vape Geek will be getting them in. Vape Geek also sent me, and I'll get this here, should be charged now, this little bad boy. This is, <laughs> get down there, a DNA 200 LiPo 900, is it 900 or 950? 900 milliamp hour. And remember, don't go, it's only 900. Remember a 900 milliamp hour, you have to work it out in watt hours. 900 milliamp hours about the same as a single 18650 battery. Um, I think, is that 8 mil? 8 mil juice bottle in there. Um, a DNA 200 screen. Um, it's actually... It's actually a bit shorter in size. It's a bit shorter than the Duo. This is the squonker here. See, it's a bit shorter, um, but a tiny little bit wider than the Duo. Um, it, it, it squonks really well. It squonks really well. There's a couple of things that... Um, this is, once again, the pre-release version. A couple of things that uh, need to be addressed, and I do believe they're going to sort that out. Um, I 
I'm actually vaping at 40 watts here on a 0 0.4 ohm coil. Ah, um, this is a little squonker that Vape Week sent on as well. And, uh, you know, I can't really tell you anything about it. It's a pre-production one. Um, it's not a bad little thing at all. Uh, it takes a, uh, There it is. I, I'm not going to tell you anything about it just now because it might change as things go by. But uh, this device, um, Benji, I don't know what the price point is going to be. I really don't know. But I, aside from one little niggle with it, which they're sorting, I have no problems with it at all. It's been working flawlessly for the couple of days that I've had it. So that's that. Um, now, what else? Now, this, I bought this. This is the Hellfire Predator squonky squonky thing. Um, uh, no, it's it comes with, it's got a squonking pin on it just now, but um, I got this from George. That's who George was. George said, uh, I bought this second hand as well. Um, now, <laughs> let's have a look at the deck. We can't get the deck off. Uh, is it dry? No, let's have a little squonk there. Ooh, there we go. Super. Let's pop that back on. Um, this is so strange for a Hellfire product or Atty Smith or whatever he's calling himself now. Um, air. Lots of air in a Hellfire product. Who would have thought? Once again, 40 watts. Um, I'm, um, who was it? Was it uh, Bob, Bobby, Bobby? Was it Bobby Drago? Bobby, was it Bobby? Was it Bobby? I can't remember, it is Bobby. Bobby got in touch and said that, you know, it really does make a difference when you put the coils, how far in or out. So thanks for that, buddy. Um, it did make a difference just moving it in a little bit um, because whilst flawless construction in this thing, and um, it's machined really, really well. It's a top end product. Flavor wise, uh, I don't find it any different to a lot cheaper products. Um, but I do like it. I like it. it's kind of classy looking. Whether or not you're prepared to pay the for eighty pound, ninety pound more to get something that's a bit money stay out of the money thing um anyway i like it and that that's all that matters at the end and i'm glad i bought it uh, i'm glad i bought it uh, i'll probably hang on to this because it's a great squonking at it so there we go so that was a hellfire predator um now i just want to see and i've not checked since i came back on my facebook page just now uh, I'm just going to bump this actually. This is, oh God, well, this actually, this might be, um, what's it at just now? £130 uh, and it ends on Thursday night. Uh, bump ski. I'm going to bump that up. This, will, this video will probably be too late. I'm ending at 8 o'clock tonight, Thursday night. Um, the Charity auction, the, this one's for uh, Fibromyalgia Awareness Charity in the UK. And there was a, a bachelor tank with spare coils, uh, an Aqua UX tank, uh, the Russian V3 tank, uh, the Serpent Mini, um, a Billow V3, and the Centurion uh, mod. So that was all getting auctioned off and when i'm typing this it's uh, at 130 pounds uh, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more uh, before it finishes um because it's going to a good charity um other than that what have i been vaping with i've been vaping a lot during the week i can't remember the week now uh with the anakin tc100 and i've been starting to use the serpent mini on it i'm, I'm enjoying the combo um once again um uh, i think plenty of people have got off their hands in the serpent mini now 
you got to be also careful with the way that you fill it. You know, get make sure you got plenty of cotton in that deck and whatnot. Because if you don't, you fill it, it leaks. And um, so you have to if you if it's leaking when you're filling it, remember turn it upside down, let the air out and all that jazz. Um, if it's still leaking, have a look at your cotton. Uh, but that's performing really well. Uh, I am still uh, fa can I can I am ah, fanning about with the DNA 75. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time with that. Um, figured out that I can change the LED color uh, when I'm firing, when it's charging, when it's charged. So I've been playing with that. Um, I've also been playing with, I think that's about it. Yes, I've been vaping on uh, Mankini, which was a limited edition that was run by Dunford E-Liquids. Um, long story in the whole Mankini thing, but uh, the, you know the a lot of the proceeds from this sale went to I think they went to Mind, uh, which is a mental health uh, charity in the UK. So top marks for that. So everybody that bought that, some of the money went to charity organisation. Um, I've been very did I why am I doing this? Um I'm also have been vaping with which is a bit strange. Uh we'll we'll fire it on here. Because it looks not too bad on here. Uh let's one, two, three, four, five. Let's turn this down. Uh the scrape R. Um I've been vaping with this a lot. Um, it's it's a mouth to lung. Uh, you can do a kind of a lung hit with it, really restricted lung hit. But what I'd never used before was the, the deck. The deck, which is actually kind of similar to the deck that's in the Squape X Dream. Um, so it's just like a deep deck with four holes in it and you pack it with cotton. So it wicks really, really well. Uh, and it's the best vape I've ever had from a Squape R. Uh, really, really chuffed with that and how it's vaping. Uh, it, it's a strange thing. I, you know, I, I mean, Damien said the same thing. You know, he's not a fan of, you know, this the the dream and how tall it is and whatnot um and i've seen a couple of comments on that people saying they think it's unfair that we're having a go at the height of it and whatnot um i know from a lot of german companies that make uh, rts and whatnot like the big german and stuff like that they're big they're tall um it's different tastes you know that Bigger atties in you know Germany and the rest of the EU don't seem to be a big deal. It seems to be in the UK that people prefer them to be a bit smaller. It's just it, just remember that reviewers are just giving their own personal opinions. It's not you know it's just a personal opinion. So don't go have a go at them just because they think it's tall. You know that's that's just daft. Um, uh, awesome, I've been playing with. I've not that. I think that is that. I've nothing else to tell you or show you. Um, thank you to everybody on my Facebook page that uh, returned into your process, deliver, deliver. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at an email here. Th thank you to everybody that posted on my Facebook page about my, my dad and. Uh, Thank you for you know getting in touch and asking how he is. Um, <clears throat> any of the people that do this thing here, this lives up here all the time. This is this is my my dripper, uh, my easy dripper. You know, so if I'm I'm wanting to to drip, I just uh, you know do this, wake, and that's me good to go. Um, and also, I never meant a big shout out to uh, Corrosive Creations who did this for me. I think I mentioned this before, but this is like a, was it a 10mm 10 10 millimeter copper plate 
and uh, you know they've done the corrosive creations work and put my my, my screaming chicken my phoenix and my name up there um so you know thank you to them once again uh come down here there we go um so the easy dripper uh the easy dripper guys got in touch with me and they are sending me a few bits and bobs uh what are they sending me um They've got a dripper coming out, or that's available. Uh, the Maker RDA, uh, built for flavour, built in America. Um, so, it's, so that's coming on, and um, I'll I'll show I'll show that off when it arrives. I think they're actually sending another easy dripper, and an easy clip bottle holder. You can carry your easy bottle on your belt or use it with a lanyard around your neck. No, that's not going to happen. And they're sending a couple of t-shirts on as well, which better be in fat bastard size or I'll not be wearing them. Um, so that, that that's going to be coming. Uh, what else shall be, be coming? Uh, that is about it. I'm going to go 21 minutes, trying to keep this short because I'm just going for a shower and just go and chill out. I'm absolutely fecked. I really am. Um, <clears throat> And that's it. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. Um, sorry there's not been... Has there been any reviews this week? Have we done a review? I don't know. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> there will be reviews coming of something. I think uh, next up is the Inikin TC100, um, which has been performing flawlessly. I'm finding it a bit weak in stainless steel mode. Just a bit. It's strange. I'm putting it on a Ye I'm putting the same atomizer on a Yehi SX350 V2 uh, on a DNA 200 and putting it on the, the, the all the same tank cooled down fires differently on all three different boards. Um, I've also got something coming from uh, you know the people that did the home wrecker. Uh, they've got a new one coming out. Um, supposedly does canthal uh, temperature control I'm sure temperature limiting I'm sure you've heard all about it and seen the videos and so on and so forth um, I'll be brutally honest if uh, if it sh don't care how good the mod is if it doesn't do temp control and canthal then I'll tell you it's shit um, if it doesn't, it's shit, because that is the big selling point for it. So if it fails on that, then nah, they shouldn't be shouting about it. But we shall wait and see. It may work. I could be wrong. Who knows? Let's just bear with it. Um, that is it. That is it. <laughs> I can always say this, that is it. What have I been watching? Have I watched any videos? Uh, what videos, reviews? I don't think I've watched any reviews. Oh, I did. I watched, um, tell you who I watched, uh, Vaping Vic V1CK. Uh, I watched his review of the, where's it gone? Is it the Night? The Night V1 mod kit by Smont. Smont? Mont or Smont? Um, it looks like a tosser stick, kind of. Um, or an expo stick or whatever the hell you call it which I really wanted to buy and I really wanted to get one but I refused to give that company, company my money because they've got the worst customer service under the sun um, but Nature Vape are going to be getting them in so he's going to send me one on to play with um, I watched, what else did I watch? I've not watched any in, Actually, Vaping V1CK has got the, a review up for the Inakin Cool Fire 100 watts, so I'll go and watch that. Uh, oh, I get your 69 has put his review up for the, the Box Reborn DNA 200 by Limelight Mechanics. I'll go and watch that later on. And that be that. Um, that's all, folks. Um, oh, and... Uh, so happy that uh, I got my, my, if you're on my Facebook page, you'll see that my banner is a photo of myself and Damien from a bloody good vaping going like this. Um, 
well chuffed. I've forgotten I had that photo taken. Uh, it was um, such a... Ah, it's just awesome to meet the guy. Uh, right, I'm going this time. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a lovely weekend.